Good evening, and welcome to a plane rudely interrupting my attempts at recording a voiceover. Good evening, and welcome to a rail fanning video full of interesting catches. And I feel it's not often that I can say that. So because I still wanted to see one of Te Huia's cab car trial runs, I managed to dash over to Hamilton again on Thursday, September 8. This time I got a lot more than I was expecting. We begin at Hutchinson Road, between Walton and Kiwitahi, with ETM 432, or Blue Bottle as I call her, on her way to the Kinleith branch. This is Kiwi Rail's track evaluation car, and she was actually built way back in the early 1980s, if my research is correct. Moving on to Frankton Station in Hamilton, I made it just in time to see DFB 7295 propelling a four-car Tehuia set away on a driver training run. This time the train was led by cab car SRV 5993. Then a few minutes before DC 4260 showed up on her way back from Waitoa, I finally heard one of my all-time favourite songs on the radio, that being Take Me Home Tonight from the late Eddie Money and Ronnie Spector, although sadly the song is criminally short at only 3 minutes and 31 seconds. I bring this up because hearing Eddie Money on the sound is an extremely rare thing, just like seeing a DX in the North Island. Next up was train 225 from Auckland to Wellington, led by DL's 9164 and 9170, but this time they also had DFB 7186 along for the ride.
After seeing the regular Tehuya service at Roto Kauri Station, I had a quick butcher's at Teodorapa Yard, a little bit further down the line. And this tiny locomotive that you're looking at now is Hitachi TR845, built in 1968 and still carrying the toll rail livery, which dates back to 2003. Coming into frame just now is DL9383 with container train MP6. During my time in Te Arapa, I also had a quick look at DSA 231, not to be confused with the Transport for Wales Class 231. This Drury diesel shunter was built in 1953, and is now on display next to the miniature railway at Minogue Park, albeit without her internal components. Back at the main yard, we see DFB 7295 returning with her empty Tehuya coaches. And as for how far up the line she went, I honestly don't know. Not even five minutes later, along comes DSG 3018 on a shunting turn. And if memory serves, this was the first time I had ever properly filmed this particular DSG. To an extent, I took a break from rail fanning by getting lunch from a bakery and eating it at Hamilton Lake.
Returning to Frankton Station, we find DFBs 7049 and 7335 waiting to leave on the 1407 to Huia service to Auckland. After seeing this lot, I caught one last unexpected working before going home. As for what that consist was, I won't tell you to avoid ruining the surprise. <laughs>